Hey everybody, Steve with Happy Heart Treasures, and I just wanted to make a little video here. It's Friday afternoon, kind of a little vlog style video, just letting you know like what's going on in our life. Donna's not here right now. She is helping our kid paint because trying to get it all done. Our kid has new carpet coming in early next week, and his pod from Alaska will be there the day after the new carpet comes in. So they're trying to get all the painting done. So she's busy there. Um, we've been working here this morning, and then we did a bunch of running around this afternoon preparing for a state sale, state sale clean out that we are doing tomorrow afternoon um, into Sunday. Hopefully not that long, but we'll see how it goes. And so I just want to kind of show you, we picked up some things in a state sale and we got a really important piece of mail today. I'm going to show you that and just a couple other random thoughts that I have. So stick around. It won't be a very long video, uh, but I just have some things I want to dive into. Okay, first of all, the mail. I have to show you the mail. This is a very important piece of mail. Here it is. Oh, no, wait. That's our new uh, vacuum cleaner filter set I got off eBay. Never mind. How about this one instead? It's from Google. Not every day you get mail from Google. You know what that is? It's got Donna's name on it right there. That is our PIN number for our address verification. So when you get monetized, there's a few different steps you do before you can actually like get paid. First step is signing up for AdSense. When you do that, they have to verify your identity. So you give them like a, a driver's license is what we did. And then you have to, after you verify your identity, you have to verify your address and they mail you a PIN number. And in there is the PIN number that I enter on the website. And then after that, you can set up like your banking information and stuff. So that's exciting to get that in the mail today. So yay. Uh, we are just about a month. We're three days short of a month from since we were monetized. And we are at, I think, let me see if it updated today. It is not updated today. We are at $89.14. So that's awesome. Is it going to change my life? No. But is it fun to see that? Yes. Uh, so anyway... What else we got? Donna's busy. Like I said, estate clean out tomorrow. It was a huge estate sale. They've sold a lot of stuff. So we, we went the, when we went to arrange things this afternoon, it was kind of a relief because we were a little concerned over how big of this, this clean out is going to be. You saw the storage unit in the last video. We already went. Uh, we have it down to one row. Donna, we brought everything home. So over here, you see all this. This is from the storage unit that will work this. And so the storage unit... Down the left side, there's just one row. But while we were there, we also got another 10 by 15. And why did we do that? We did that for two reasons. Number one reason is because we have three estate sales in four weeks. Uh, cleanouts, we believe we're doing. We have one tomorrow, one the next weekend. Weekend after that is the reseller rally in Omaha. We won't do one then. And then we come back and we have another one. So we know we have a lot of stuff coming in. So trying to squeeze it all in the little bit of space we have is hard. And we get the first month for free because we rent our trucks there and stuff. So, you know, if the estate sales aren't too bad and we can have things through there and have them empty and turn it back in before we actually get charged, then, hey, it's great. It's free storage. But I'm assuming we're going to have a lot of stuff coming in and we might end up keeping it for an extra month. But we'll see. But we want to be prepared. Last thing we want to do is have a trailer or van full of stuff that we don't know what to do with. We have a couple friends that we've put things in their garage before, and I don't like to do that. So um, just being prepared. So we're prepared for tomorrow now. As far as the stay sale goes tomorrow, in the past we have filmed at cleanouts. Uh, we have gone in at the beginning and shown you everything and how much stuff is in all the rooms, and then we kind of update throughout and then show when it's all empty. Planning on doing that, but we didn't. I forgot to ask the lady... Um, that is basically running, you know, her, it's her parents the past. I forgot to ask her if that's okay. So there might be a video out later with the estate sale clean out footage. Um, but we'll see what she says tomorrow. She's a very nice lady and she's been, uh, very helpful and understanding with us, working with us to arrange this. So I, I don't think it'll be a problem, but we'll see. So as for right now, one question before I show you with some things we found in the estate sales. What's with shorts, man? Like, I don't get it. Okay, so this morning, here's a little backstory. This morning, I'm shipping, and I didn't have a lot to ship. 
and we had a lot of things going on so I didn't film what sold but there was one item in particular that I thought this is a really cool item I should make a sh at least a short of this because it's a cool item and so I did I took sat down took the time I mean it's not like it's super time consuming but I don't make very many shorts, so it does take me a little longer. I still haven't figured out if I can put a picture over the top of it on the YouTube app. Like stickers or whatever. Because I wanted to, I had screenshot and cut out like the sold with the item, with the price. But then I couldn't figure out on the short how to just drop that over the top towards the end of the short. I don't know. I couldn't figure it out. I just used the YouTube app. I didn't do it like on TikTok or I don't post them on TikTok or Instagram or anything like that. So I don't know. I've said many times in the past, I don't know what I'm doing anyway. So, but couldn't figure it out. But anyway, this thing sold and I wanted to show it. So here is a picture of what sold. It's a, it's a Budweiser puzzle, sealed Budweiser puzzle from 1990. And that sold for $30 plus shipping. That came from a that was not a clean out that we got paid to do. That was a buyout that we did. We bought out a, a bunch of stuff from a lady that we know, and that came from there. So if anybody has any information about shorts, drop something in the comment because they frustrate the crap out of me. Oh, so anyway, I didn't tell you what the frustrating part about the short was. So I made the short, no big deal. And obviously it had Budweiser and uh, eBay reseller, all the little hashtags and whatever keywords that are pretty big words, right? So I make the make the short and I upload it and I'm like, okay. Then I finished my shipping. And then like an hour later or something, I pull it up and I check. Let's see how many views I have. It was like four. Like four views. And I'm like, what the heck? It's been five hours now and it has 19 views. What the heck? Other times I randomly will post a short. I haven't done a lot of them, but I'll randomly post a short. Just something stupid. Put some up there. And then like an hour later, it has like four or five, six hundred views. I'm like, how do I only have 19 views with hashtag with Budweiser keyword and eBay keyword and reselling keyword? All the, you know, I don't know. They make no sense to me. And so I don't know if they're worth doing or not. We've, you know, so anyway, that's my rant about shorts. I don't understand them. I don't know if I'm doing them wrong or what, but whatever. Okay, so we covered the mail. We covered the stuff in the storage unit. We covered where Donna is. She is feeling much better today, by the way. She is pretty much good to go, especially for tomorrow with that clean out. She's good. This is stuff. These are Budweiser Steins. They're on the dollar auction right now. This stuff is on the dollar auction right now. Here are some items we found at the estate sale. I just wanted to show some of these things. This just looked like old stock of something interesting to me all it is is it turns the ornaments but when i was there i looked this up and i think two of these noma ornamation ornamotion ornamotion turns any ornament these i think two of them sold for like 28 dollars or so so they had one paid two dollars for it so i grabbed that the next thing we found don is like hey look at this and i'm just like it's bar you know there's so much barbies out there that it's there's so much that's not worth anything unless it's really old but since this is brand new i thought well let's look it up and this is from looking for the year the year is the year is the year is good grief oh there it is 1991 so brand new 1991 i'm gonna look it up pop up a comp here and i'm using worth point in 2022 this item sold for 25 dollars so uh, we paid $5 for this. And then we had another Barbie, Barbie Bridal Fashion Avenue. This is 1997. And I find this one in 2022 sold for $34.99, 35 bucks. So paid $5 for this one also. So that's cool. Do you hear that? Do you hear the dogs? I apologize if you hear the dogs barking in the background. There's neighbor dogs outside barking, and my dog is barking, and it's a whole thing. But anyway, onward we go. Moving from Barbie to Cabbage Patch Kids. Paid $7 for this. It's a Cabbage Patch Snack Time Kid Feeding Fun Rocker Seat. And this is from what year? This was $4.99 at KB Toys right there. I don't know if you can see that. But this is from 1996 and let's see 
Worth point has shown that this has sold in the last couple of years for anywhere from thirty to sixty dollars. We paid seven dollars for that, so you know, fun doll day at the estate sale. This back here, this is from that storage unit I haven't even gotten to yet. This is that camera that if it works, it's like two or three hundred dollars. I have not messed with it at all. I might take it to a camera shop and just see if they'll tell me if they find it working or not, or else I'll have to do a little research to try to test it or something. But I haven't messed with that at all. And the other, the Nikon camera in here, that's on my to-do list. That's how it ended up on the table. This is pretty much the end. This is that old clarinet under here. This is pretty much the end of that storage unit. You know, we processed everything else. I'm not sure where this came from. It's a skull. Don't know what to do with that for sure, but probably dollar auction. I don't know. Donna put it there. And then Donna also grabbed, Donna also grabbed this belt buckle. It's not Sterling, it's not 925 or anything like that. But she had me look it up just because it looks like there might be like tech turquoise inlaid in there. And just a quick Google Lens search shows this was sold on Etsy for $39. Um, so I don't know. It was only $3, so I didn't do any further looking. I just grabbed it and got it. So we got that. You know, a lot of times it makes me wonder this. This mess. I wonder if people see this and they're like, Oh my gosh, you got, you're got you a slob. What are you even doing? But it's just so hard to keep clean over here. This is where I put random stuff. So this I found today when opening, emptying boxes downstairs. It's a paintball. This I sold once, returned it, and I thought it was relisted. And when I was moving some things around in boxes and moving the boxes, I this did not show up. It's not actually listed, so I'm going to relist that. These are knives that came out of that uh, buyout we just did. They're longer than six inches. We can't sell anything over six inches on uh, dollar auction. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with these yet. That's my can of soda from yesterday. I'm giving up soda after the Super Bowl, by the way. After next Wednesday. Next Wednesday night I have a concert I'm going to after we get back from our trip. And then after that I'm giving up soda. So I hope I'm not crabby. This is a University Barbie. Uh, this one I'm going to put on eBay. That's hopefully getting done tonight. And this is just like, okay, here's some Monster Cable RCA jacks. I'm just going to keep those so they need to go inside. Light bulbs, I don't know why they're here. Uh, tape, I use this tape all the time. Here's a cassette. I don't know, I was listing CDs and this was in there, so I just throw it over here. Magnifying glass. Here's my razor blade. Just random... Here's a $2 bill just sitting here, you know, 1976, just sitting here, just stuff, like literally, tape gun, more tape, um, fly swatter, we're in the middle of February, I don't need a fly swatter right now, but flashlights, because I was going to list in a lot, and I haven't gotten to it yet, leather conditioner, got that out for that bag, uh, and it's still sitting here. So that's my, this is, this is my junk drawer. This is, a lot of people have it in a drawer and you can't see it. This is my junk drawer right here. I digress. Okay, I think I just have one more thing to show you then I'm going to wrap this up. I'm trying to look around in case I missed something of Donna's. She's been working hard on the figures. We still have that many that are not done anything done with yet. These, I think her mom is buying these, I think. Um, but she listed a whole bunch today. This is all her stuff. This is, that's her space. I don't mess with her space. Anyway, I got one last thing to show you. And this one I'm super pumped about. I don't know what it's worth for sure, but we're going to find out. I found this. It's just a oblong West Bend slow cooker. Paid $12 for it. You know what's cool about it? It's brand new in the box. Sealed from 1991 never been opened and the reason if this was just a plain looking one i wouldn't think much about it but since it has the design on there hopefully that's focusing enough you can see it but it's got this old design on there from 1991 i think i looked up these brand new and i think i can get like 40 50 bucks for this uh maybe even more with the design i don't know but so i picked that up for 12 bucks brand new never opened 1991 slow cooker with cool design so that's hopefully a good buy i mean for 12 bucks i don't think i could go wrong on it right wrong right right wrong 
I think that's it for now. I'm uh, It's Friday night at 6 o'clock now. I'm going to actually just sit down and list on eBay. I'm going to turn the TV on, list on eBay for a couple hours, and then uh, tomorrow, like I said, a stay sale clean out and hopefully filming there. And if not, we'll see. Uh, Super Bowl Sunday. Sorry, Tracy. Go 49ers. I just can't watch the Chiefs. Ugh. Ugh, I can't even. Is that what they say? I can't even. Um, anyway, I don't, I don't think we'll have a video out again before the Super Bowl. So, anyway, we we'll watch on the Super Bowl, and then we go on a little trip for a couple days, and then I come back and I see Pantera on Wednesday night, and then starting on Thursday, it's no more soda and cutting back on sweets and portions, and I'm gonna try to walk every day. I gotta lose some weight, man. It's just not cool. Uh, that's it. I am totally rambling now. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the nice comments. We really do appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun and we'll see you on the next one. I'm out of here. Bye.